you have to create a completely new way of engaging with customers. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you some great examples. Uh, and this might be one of, but that indicates where things are going. So a retailer in Korea called eMart came out with this app. During lunchtime, their store traffic was going down. Okay? So they came out with this innovative uh, way by which you would get a QR code, you scan the QR code, it would actually be on the pavement, and you scan the QR code, you get a discount, and you grab the discount and go into the store. But the QR code is a shadow that will only show up when the, when the sun is high up in the noontime sky. Okay? Mm -hmm. so, just, so during that time, they were driving people into it. So just one example of thinking differently, taking all these things put together. Sometime in Q4, that for Facebook, this transition has happened. Um, our daily active users now on mobile exceed our daily active users on the web. So without question, by customer demand, we are a mobile first company. I would also say last year we made a lot of strides in terms of becoming mobile first in our products. The core thing that, um, that we struggle with and that uh, we have changed and that I think will continue to be the thing that we push against is actually the pace of innovation on mobile versus web. We're here to talk about mobile today and I am going to come back to mobile at critical points in the conversation. Um, but I'm going to put out something that might irk some of you. I'm going to tell you that the future isn't about mobile. In fact, mobile is a symptom, not a cause. Mobile is what we can point to as absolute proof positive that digital disruption is happening. It's one of the best environments to test and learn digital disruption. Mobile is an outstanding springboard into a whole array of other things. So if you don't figure out how to make yourself digitally disruptive enough to take advantage of mobile today, trust me, you're not gonna make the next jump outside of the mobile phone. Most of our kids actually know about this disruption more than us, right? And, and they, are, they are a consumer of that, both the behavioral change at the same time the mobility change. I actually, I, I don't think about it so much as disruption as we are in an industry that's in transformation and a very significant transformation. It's probably the most significant transformation in uh, entertainment since we went from talkies to moving pictures, right? From radio to television. And we're very much at the very, very beginning of it. The entire infrastructure is getting reinvented. We're going back to basics, funding uh, networking startups, Wi-Fi startups, I mean, things that you thought had already been passe a few years ago. There's a new a rebirth. Um, and that's creating, as I mentioned, just an open field for networking, processing, storage, and big data startups. We haven't even talked about big data. When you have this much content, bandwidth, storage, compute, what happens? just an explosion of data. You gotta make sense of that data and there's a whole stack that we go after in that, uh, in that regard.